Hello, this is McD the Beast, and this is McD Sports 4 coming to you today with my conference championship picks for the NBA playoffs. Before I continue, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and please subscribe to the channel. That would be greatly appreciated if you do that. So, two series here. Um, we got the Portland Trail Blazers versus the Golden State Warriors, and then we're going to go ahead and get the uh, Raptors versus Bucks prediction in, in this video as well. I'm going to give a quick preview of, e of each series and give my final prediction for the series. Um, I think both of these series are going to be competitive series, and I believe that we're going to get some great outcomes. But anyways, we'll start off with the Western Conference. Uh, for once, we're starting off with the West. Portland Trail Blazers, they're the number three seed. Yeah, the, they're the number three seed in the Western Conference versus the number one seed of Golden State Warriors. Uh, this is going to be, I think, a, a competitive series, but it comes down to a few things. Uh, thing number one, I know that KD, he's going to be out, it looks like, for the first two games in this one. It looks like he might be back for game three. Uh, they're going to evaluate his um, leg on... Uh, his calf on Thursday, if you haven't heard the news, uh, Kevin Durant has a strained right calf. They're going to evaluate it Thursday. And I know game two is on Thursday, but it, the, everything I'm reading, it sounds like he's out for the first two games. Uh, there was a possibility of DeMarcus Cousins coming back. Um, sometimes this, this series, if he comes back, it's not going to be until the finals, in my opinion. I still think that he, he needs to get on the basketball court. And he needs to go ahead and um, he, he needs to at least get a week of practice in. Um, he's been out since the Clippers series. So he's been out whole series. Um, the Golden State Warriors, they still have uh, Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson. Um, that, in my opinion, I think uh, the Golden State Warriors have the best player. In the uh, series, and right now, the he most healthiest player is Stephen Curry. And when they get KD, they'll also have the best player as well, because KD is better than Steph Curry, in my opinion, as KD is the top player in NBA right now. He's the number one player in the NBA. Um, you look at the Portland Trailblazers. Listen, um, Damian Lillard, borderline top 10 player right there. So, the... Um, Poor Trail Blazers, they definitely have some thunder. Uh, CJ McCollum, um, Evan Turner, he's been playing, he played well in that game seven. Maybe it continues in game one here on Tuesday. Uh, um, you also have Seth Curry, Stephen Curry's brother, that can um, hit a few shots. Enos Cantor, um, Mo Harkless. Um, Aminu, I mean, the Portland Trail Blazers, they, they have a nice little team up there in Portland, Oregon. Uh, they'll definitely be very competitive with the Golden State Warriors, but at the end of the day, I gotta go with the Warriors. Um, Warriors and six, that's kind of the pick that everybody is saying. I, I agree with it. I think Portland could steal one to two games in Golden State. I think it's gonna be, this series is gonna be very similar to the, uh, Golden State LA Clippers series in the first round. Uh, and I think Portland could steal probably game one or game two. They could win one in Portland, and then that's probably it. Um, won't surprise me if it goes seven. I will be shocked if Portland does win this, though. I would be shocked. But I, I get Portland maybe a puncher's chance. Um, if somehow um, Boogie Cousins and KD, and, and KD is going to come back in the series, I think, in game three. But if um, Kevin Durant or... Uh, and Boogie Cousins, um, and it has to be the factor of and Boogie Cousins. If they all come back, uh, this series will be a wrap, um, and Portland has no chance. But I give the Portland Trail Blazers at this point a puncher shot in this. Uh, but Golden State, they're just the more talented team. Uh, this is the first time that Portland has been in a Western Conference Finals since 2000. Uh, none of these players really have played in Western Conference Finals. Their main players for Portland and Damian Lillard and CJ McComb. Um, so, I mean, they don't have any experience in that. I believe these two teams have faced off in the series um, before. It was a few years ago in the first round. I think Golden State dispatched uh, Portland and five and a gentleman's sweep. So, 
They're ha- they, they have to face in a playoff series. It's kind of a rivalry game. So this is basically Oakland, San Francisco Bay Area versus Portland, Oregon. And uh, these two teams, they have they did split the series at four apiece. I mean, it's not four apiece. Two apiece in four games um, this season. So very, I think it's going to be a very competitive series. I think it's going to be high scoring. But at the end of the day, give me the Golden State Warriors in six. The other series in the Eastern Conference Finals, Toronto Raptors versus Milwaukee Bucks. This starts on Wednesday. Um, and listen, this is going to be a very good series, in my opinion. Um, I'm hell-bent on who to pick. I think you could talk somebody into picking either team. Um, but it comes down to a few things for me. And before and before I uh, just give away my pick, uh, let's give a quick, uh, pre- let's give some quick previews. Milwaukee Bucks, uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo. I hope I said that pronou- uh, pronounced that correctly. Listen, um, Giannis, he's gonna be. I think he's gonna ball out against the Raptors. It's gonna be uh, Giannis versus Kawhi in that matchup. The Raptors are gonna pick. They're gonna pick Kawhi on Giannis. So there's gonna definitely be. A great matchup there. I think Kawhi could contain Giannis some. I also think though that the supporting cast for the Bucks is a bit better than the Toronto Raptors. And what I mean by that, Chris Middleton, Eric Bledsoe, uh, they got Malcolm Brogdon back now. Uh, Brooke Lopez is having a very underrated season. Nikola Mucharek. And they also have a few other guys. I think uh, I, I want to say... Um, George Hill as well. Uh, the Milwaukee Bucks, their supporting cast is fantastic. You look at the Raptors, uh, they got in on a last-second shot um, by Kawhi, a little bit of a shooter's bounce there. You you look at the Raptors, Kawhi, their second-best player. Some people think of Siakam. I still think it's Kyle Lowry and then Siakam. Those two are kind of their next two big-time players. And then Serge Ibaka, Mark Asau, uh, Danny Green. You also still have players like Norman Powell on that team. Uh, you also have um, o- OG uh, Aboni, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Fred Van Lee, uh, Jeremy Lin, I think, is on that team as well. I mean, the Raptors, they have a pretty good supporting cast as well. But this is what the series is going to come down to coaching. I will give the Bucks the advantage in coaching as of right now. I think Mike Budenholzer is a better coach than Nick Nurse. Nothing against Nick Nurse is just my opinion. And I think the coaching from the Bucks is going to be the difference in this. And I, I'm giving the Bucks this series in seven. I'm picking the Bucks in seven. You look at the Bucks. I think their uh, supporting cast is just a tick better than the Raptors, and I also think that they have the best player. I would take Giannis Antetokounmpo, I would take Giannis Antetokounmpo over Kawhi Leonard as of right now. So give me the Bucks and seven. Uh, I think it's going to be a very fun series. I will not be surprised if the Raptors win this series. I will not be surprised if the Raptors win this series in six. I will not be surprised if the Bucks win this series in six. This series will go at least six games, in my opinion. So those are my two predictions. So we got the we got in this series right here the um, Blazers versus Warriors. We got the Warriors in six, and then in this series we got the Bucks in seven. Those are my predictions. Comment down below if you agree or disagree. I always like hearing from you all, and I'll try to get a comment back to you. Or down in the comment page. Uh, also, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and this is McDee the Beast signing off.